Mike Zeno Ministries presents Called to Victory. Now here are your hosts, the senior pastors of Glory and Peace Church International, Pastors Mike and Maria Efezino. Hello there, welcome to the Call to Victory broadcast. This is Pastor Mike Efezino and Pastor Maria Efezino. We're so excited that we can have this wonderful, wonderful opportunity to share the Word of God with you. We've been discussing the subject of healing for some time now, about four, four, four days, five days, and um, we want to continue discussing this subject with you, knowing this, that God, a good God, wants you and I to know what our rights are. One of our rights in God is this right to walk in divine health. Well, you may say, I see so many people, Christians that are sick and so on and so forth. Um, how is this possible? Well, it is possible because many times we do not know our rights and we do not know how to enforce it. And today we want to discuss the subject of how we can receive this healing of God. We have the right to dominate over every dominion of the enemy. We cause him to be subject to the authority that God has given to us in the name of Jesus Christ. And today we want to um, explore this thought once again. Well, Pastor Maria, how are you doing today? I'm blessed and highly favored. Well, praise God. And you? I'm blessed and highly favored of the Lord too. I know you're also blessed and highly favored and also healed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We want to look at Psalm 103 today. Mm -hmm. It's in the Old Testament. Psalm 103 is Psalm of David. And verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. This is David taking authority and saying to his soul, You bless the Lord. And everything that is in me, bless the holy name of God. Yeah, so another aspect, we, we talked about dominion the last time, so today we'd like to add to that how to praise God. Mm -hmm. As whatever you're going through, to learn to praise God and also to maintain your healing. That's right. David went through a lot of issues in his life. You know, he went through chaos in his own home. Uh, w uh, one of his sons killed another one. You know, and one other one raped, you know, another one slept with his wife. So there's a lot of things. So all those things really are things that can mess up your soul. Mm. He, David took another person's wife. He lost his, uh, uh, his uh, kingdom to his son that he loved so much, Absalom, you know, who usurped his authority. So he understand. And then and King Saul that he, he saved, you know, and helped. Uh, delivered his reign from Goliath and also, you know, wanted to kill him. So he understand what soul trouble is and things that could drive a man almost mad. Crazy. You know, he went through all, all kinds of things, you know. And, and here he learned one thing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Through it all, he began to learn how to bless the Lord. So he said, my soul bless the Lord. If your soul does not bless the Lord, you can go crazy. You know, so he said, bless the Lord. Psalm 103, verse 1, say, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. All that is within me. What is all? Not only your physical uh, body, but your emotional body, your mind, everything in you, your spirit, soul, and body, bless the Lord. Because most times when we're going through stuff, it looks like we are alone. Mm. You know, other people might care and say, Well, I love you, I'm praying for you. I care about you. They give you good words and all that. But you're still going to be alone with yourself in your own mind. You know, he learned something. I'll bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Everything within me, bless the Lord. So you have to command your whole system to bless the Lord. Yeah. Especially your emotions. You, you, you just or you simply can have, have a to do pity that. party. That's the only way you can yeah. receive. Yes. You know, in blessing God. In, in blessing God, meaning 
You know, the word barak here, which means, mm -hmm. which means to, to release praise to God, mm -hmm. also means to kneel. Yes. You know, so in, in other words, it says, I'm bowing myself, I'm kneeling to God. Yes. I bow myself. God exalts the humble. Yes. When, 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 but you see, sometimes when people um, hear us talk about having dominion and authority mm -hmm. and exercising out that authority, they, they, they can come to a wrong conclusion and say, well, wait a minute, you guys have been arrogant talking about having dominion. But no, humility in reality is lining up with what God says and not arguing with God. Mm -hmm. So when I humble myself before God and I come into agreement with the word of God, I am humble. I am blessing his, mm -hmm. his holy name. But when I go against the word of God mm -hmm. and align myself with my circumstance and whatever it is that's happening in life, other people's experiences and on and on and on, mm -hmm. that's when I'm proud. Because I'm not coming to agreement with what God says. Mm -hmm. When God says, I have given you dominion and authority, and I say, I have dominion and I have authority, that's humility. Mm -hmm. And God looks at that and says, I honor that. Mm -hmm. I bless that. I will exalt this humble one who's humbled himself before me and my word. But when we resist the word of God by doubt, by unbelief, by resisting it, by by saying something contrary to what the word of God says, we are proud. And God right. says, I'll bring you the proud one down. So when w last yesterday we we're talking about dominion and how we have dominion. And here we're talking about blessing the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Yeah. David is taking charge and control of everything about him and saying, you, this is what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. he, he says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Don't forget the benefits that are in the family of God. But too many times we forget what God has given for, to us mm -hmm. and what God has done for us. And he says, don't forget it. Don't forget his benefits. Yeah. Yeah, you have to learn to bless the Lord. Yes. Yeah, I said, bless the Lord, oh my soul. That soul there is his life. Everything that's within him. Mm -hmm. You know, so bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. What are these benefits? You have to remember the good days. The good things God has done for you. Mm -hmm. So you begin to bless God. When he's blessing God, say, soul, don't forget. Don't forget. Yes, we're in trouble right now, but you know, I was not always in trouble. We're still talking, we'll use David as our example right now, you know, because he's the one God was using to write this. You know, he said, bless the Lord. Don't forget his benefit. Don't forget what kind of benefits. Don't forget how he, he helped you, anointed you, and helped you to kill Goliath with little stone. Don't forget that's the same God you're still dealing with right now. Mm -hmm. He's with me. Don't forget how, you know, you were running for your life. Where he wrote, as the deer pant for the water, so my soul pant after you. Don't forget, you saved me from destruction. Mm -hmm. My soul, don't forget how the bear and, and the lion came and you anointed me to use my bare hand to kill them. Don't forget. So you begin to remember all the victories. So you bless the Lord with the victories of your past. So that as when your soul is full of that, then you are strong again and able to fight what's in front of you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's a bless the Lord. It's like Thanksgiving. You just, Amen. So you just saying thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for what you have done for yeah. my life. <coughs> then he goes and says, for God is the one who forgiveth yes. all thine iniquities. iniquities yes. Don't forget all his benefits. He's the one who forgiveth all thine iniquities because yes. The devil comes and says, well, it's because of this mm -hmm. uh, and you deserve this yes. and because you did this, that's to, why this. It begins to blackmail you yeah. about your past failure, mm -hmm. the part that you're guilty of. Mm -hmm. and, and says that's why you're And then you have to remember, he has forgiven me. He has forgiven me. Yes. He has forgiven me. Can you say that? And I say, God has forgiven me. He has forgiven He's me. forgiven me all iniquities. So where well, is your father and your mother's fault? Iniquities. The things they have done. That's why. No, he has forgiven them. 
he has forgiven me. Yes. You know, God doesn't hold that against you anymore. Yeah. You know, iniquities, uh, which is almost like a spiritual DNA, mm-hmm. can carry on to another person. In a person negative way. In a negative mm-hmm, way. Mm-hmm. And, and now you can go and say, no, God has forgiven me the iniquities, the propensities in my life mm-hmm. for this particular ailment, mm-hmm. for that particular ailment, you know, whether it's cystic fibrosis or it is uh, schizophrenia mm-hmm. or it is um, diabetes or um, it is, um, what is that um, ailment that plagues a lot of black people? Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter what is it. Oh, you mean sickle cell? Sickle cell, yeah, whatever it, it is. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. You know, this, this happened, yes, it happened, but there is a God mm-hmm. who has paid the price. He was wounded for our transgressions, mm-hmm. bruised for our iniquities. Mm-hmm. Chastisement for our peace was bestowed upon him, and by the stripes that he bore, we are healed. He forgiveth all thine iniquities. He's forgiven all my iniquities, and says there, who healeth all thy diseases. Healeth all thy diseases. Not some, all of them. Every disease in my life. Amen. Healed. Yes. That's a benefit. So you remember all those benefits. That's right. Because he healed you yesterday. He healed you yesterday. He can heal you today. So your prayer now is uh, thanksgiving. Yes. It's blessing the Lord. So you just remember you're blessing the Lord with what? Your soul. Yes. What's your soul? Your thought realm. Mm. (laughs) Because that's where the battle is. The battle is in the mind. Yes. So you just begin to bless the Lord with your mind. Because, like I said earlier, I said most times when you're going through stuff, people come, they encourage you, they say things to you. You go to church, you're so strong. Mm -hmm. You get the message, you know, you feel like, oh, I can do it. I can do it. Then when you get on your alone in your in your own space, (laughs) even the walls begin to talk to you. So you need to then now begin to just bless the Lord. When you get into praise, you know, it catches on. God inhabits it the praise of his people. Inhabits the praise of his people. And he comes and it spreads. Like we, <laughs> during the time of our recording, I was humming it, I was singing a song, Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul, magnify the Lord, you know. All morning I've been singing it, and then you, s- then I heard you sing it a little while ago, then I said, oh, look at that, it works. Because what was I doing? I was experimenting, ha- saying exactly the same thing over and over, but blessing the Lord. Then you say, oh, it's been in my spirit, but it popped out of your mouth. Yeah, I started singing it. Mm-hmm. Because in the spirit, spirit realm, we connect. Yeah, because your spirit has been full of it. So you do it. You just bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Change your focus from your pain to praise. Mm, mm. Change That's your focus. You yeah, change it from your pain to praise. And something will begin to happen. And the, the next thing... Your language will change. It changes. Your language change to blessing the Lord, yeah. not cursing the Lord. That's right. So we have part of the benefits. We are forgiven iniquities. Mm-hmm. We're healed of diseases. Mm-hmm. And this is who redeemeth thy life from destruction. from destruction. He redeems your life mm-hmm. from destruction. He snatches your life yeah. from destruction. Yeah. He buys your life back out of destruction. Who redeemeth? This is the one we're blessing. The one who redeems our life Mm -hmm. from destruction. And it goes on, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Mm -hmm. In other words, God is altogether good Mm -hmm. towards us. Amen. Amen. He is. And verse 5 says, of uh, Psalm 103, 5 says, who satisfied the mouth with what? Good Good things. things, So that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Wow. I really like this. I use this every day. You know, I my mouth is satisfied with good things. Mm-hmm. My youth is renewed like the eagle. Every blessed day, I, that's my special cream. My youth is renewed like the eagle. You're taking your shower, you just, uh, just find a routine for the word. You see, satisfy your mouth. So your mouth is connected to your healing and it's connected to your praise. You use mouth to praise God. You don't praise God and go like, you have to open that mouth of and yours. And praise him. And praise him. You say, who satisfied? He crowned you. He's crowned you already. 
with loving wow. kindness and tender mercies. He satisfied them out with good things. So your mouth is full of good things. Say my mouth is full of good my things. My mouth is full of good Say things. Say my mouth is full of good things. My mouth is full of good Everything things. Everything you see are things. So the, the good is inside your mouth. Praise the Lord. The Lord says, open your mouth and I'll fill it. Yes. So basically what you're saying, what you're speaking out yes. are the words of God. Yes. God quickens you yeah. to say the right things. Yes, yes. Yes, they say, and, and so your youth is renewed like the eagles. Every day keep doing it and keep checking yourself. Your cells will be renewed. They're always renewed anyway. He created us so that our cells, they replenish themselves. Mm -hmm. They get renewed mm -hmm. and rejuvenated. Mm -hmm. But now nah, they just work better for you. You know, your skin, like a baby skin, say soft, you know, not scratchy. So God can begin to turn things around for us. Say my mouth is blessed Amen. with good things. Satisfied. Yes. He satisfies our mouth with good things. Hallelujah. So that our youth, so that our youth, it's so that our youth is renewed. Yes. So because your mouth is satisfied with good things, mm. your youth is renewed. Yes, that's you know, health. That's divine health. That's divine health. Yes. You know, we don't have to be like the rest of the yeah. world. So your healing is in your mouth. Yes, Your it is. miracle is in your mouth. It is. Your praise. So begin to praise God and bless the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, in, in Psalm 67, in Psalm 67, and we'll, we may come back to Psalm 102, but in Psalm 67, mm -hmm. um, verse 1 and 2, mm -hmm. we read these words. This is another psalm. Mm -hmm. It says, God be merciful unto us and bless us. We bless God, but now God says, God wants to bless us mm -hmm. and cause his face to shine upon us that thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among, among all, the all the nations. Now, when we go to Proverbs mm -hmm. 12, Proverbs 12. Mm -hmm. Do verse 3 with it. Say, let the people praise oh yes. God. Let I all the people praise thee. Praise God. So, all connected. Your it's praise connected to your health again. Every yeah, that was Psalm know, 67, 1 to 3. Yes. A and verse um, Proverbs 12, um, 18 we read these powerful words. Proverbs 12, 18. Hear what the word of God says. He says, There is that speaketh like the piercings of his sword, mm -hmm. but the tongue of the wise is health. Amen. The tongue of the wise mm -hmm. is health. You know, when, when you are wise, mm -hmm. it's going to produce health Amen. and healing. Yes. There is that speaketh like the piercings of his sword. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you take that, and, and when you take the word of God, you use it as a sword to pierce against the enemy. Mm -hmm. This is how you dominate against the enemy, to let him know to back off. But then your tongue is speaking health Amen. to you. Amen. You bind the strong man, and you spoil his house. Amen. You take the health, the thing that he's been taken and stealing away and hiding from you you take it back mm -hmm. in the name that is above every other name yes. the name of jesus christ Amen. hallelujah Praise the lord the tongue of there is that speak it like um there is that speak it like the piercings of his sword piercings of a sword but the tongue of the wise is health. So where's your health again? Your health is in your tongue. That's right. We read it. Your health, your youth is renewed. Your mouth is satisfied with good things. Your youth is renewed like the ego. Now your health is is um is what is in coming from your tongue. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now I like us to look at as a scripture about that piercing and see how things can change so quickly. Hebrews four. Let's look at uh. We're talking about praising God. So learn to begin to praise, praise God, God and see how quickly the praise work. Verse 12, Hebrews 4, 12, say, for the word of God is what? Quick. So you're not praising with ordinary words. You're praising with the words word of, of God. God. Say, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit mm. and of the joints and marrow. And it's a discern of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. You see the connection, joints, marrow, thoughts, and heart, intents of the heart. Of the soul connection to your health, to your to your physical body, but the word will pierce. 
Amen. As you begin to praise God with his living word, with his own word, it works quickly. Hallelujah. He said, neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. In the past programs, we talk about the demonic reign. Ah, sometimes some sickness are not just biological or physical or emotional. They are also spiritual. He said, it will discern it. Mm. Say, neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have, have to, to do. do. So connect with that praise. Hallelujah. As you begin to praise him, there will be piercing and your health will be restored back. Hallelujah. 100%. So praise Amen. brings forth divine <coughs> health. In Proverbs 16, 24, mm -hmm. we read these powerful words. Pleasant words are as an honeycomb. Yes. Sweet to the soul and health to the bones yes wow yes pleasant words yes as an honeycomb yes when you're going through a difficult time mm -hmm. one of the things that you need to do is to make sure that you remove from your vocabulary mm -hmm. any words that are filled with strings of bitterness unforgiveness strife and confusion remove that from your language Pleasant words. Mm. Speak pleasant words. Mm. You know, the word of God says, out of the abundance of the heart, the, the mouth, mouth is going to speak. But the word of God also says, every word that you speak comes back to you. Just like God's word, you know, his words do not go out void. They come back. They return back. Mm -hmm. So when, when you speak out good, pleasant words, it comes back to you and you are filled with those same pleasant words. It goes back and it forms a full circuit. So pleasant, pleasant words are as an honeycomb. Those, the honeycomb, the honeycomb is, is where, where the, um, the, 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 the bee, uh, you know, they do their stuff and they make their honey. And mm. it's all inside that honeycomb. You make a lot of wa uh, wax. Yes. Mm -hmm. So so yeah. so again, when you're when you're speaking words, mm -hmm. you're building a house. Mm -hmm. You're building a house, a multifaceted house mm -hmm. that has life. Yeah, it's a bee's sweetness. house. Sweetness. Yes, it's a bee's house. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The honeycomb also has the octagon shape yes. in everyone and you know the octagon goes is a stop sign mm -hmm. stop <laughs> you, know, you know when you have pleasant words you are saying stop to the devil mm -hmm. hallelujah stop you can't come here mm -hmm. you can't reign here and it says it will become sweet to the soul and health to thy bones amen this is how we stay yeah, sustained you, you need in your, health. You need your, that, uh, that scripture is a pow uh, powerful scripture because you need your bones is um, where your marrow, marrow is. Forms. And out of inside your marrow, that's where the blood that's is right. formed. And the Bible says the life is in the blood. Of, of the flesh is in the blood. Mm -hmm. And life is God. Mm -hmm. So when your bone begins to build back and is strong, you know, and great, you'll be healthy. That's right. And it says it is done by what? Um, pleasant words. God's healing is available to everyone. But how do you access it? What stops it from coming to you? In the 4CD Healing Series, Apostle Mike and Maria Efezino answer many of those questions. Each program is packed full of the Word, giving you tools that will enable you to walk in to find help. To order, call the number below. You don't have to live in sickness any longer. Praise the Lord. Pra Amen. Say the scripture says uh, Proverbs uh, sixteen twenty four. Pleasant words as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. If you've had a bitter soul, child of God, if your soul has been bitter or wounded, and you've been so sad, you know, begin to sing pleasant words, and that's where praise really helps. Because when we begin to praise God. Your soul begins to heal. Hmm. It begins to restore. Hmm. It begins to rejoice. 
when you hear good singing in no time from praising God, you didn't feel like moving, your body start moving. You start moving, you know, you feel like dancing. You feel like rejoice. Joy begins to be restored back. May God restore your joy back. Amen. May God strengthen you back. Amen. May your words and your language change today. Amen. That you begin to bless God with pleasant words. Not complaining words, pleasant words. Not words of division, not words of sorrow or fear. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is exciting to know that we can bless the name of the Lord and by so doing, this is how we receive and sustain the health that God has given to us so generously. God is so generous. He wants you and I to walk in divine health. When you're sick, you are weak. The word of God says when the people of Israel were brought out of the land of Egypt, they said there was not one feeble person in their midst. God supernaturally healed every one of them. And God is taking you out of bondage and he is taking you into the promises that he has for you and for me. Today, celebrate the victory that is yours in Christ Jesus. Child of God, you are born again. If you've asked him to come into your life and you are no longer under the dominion or the kingdom of darkness, you have been translated, moved from that kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. And in this kingdom of God, there is good news. The good news is you can live in divine health, Amen. free of sickness and free of diseases because Jesus has paid the price already. Mm. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a simple prayer right now. Why don't you just repeat these words after me? Lord Jesus, I give you my life. I surrender it completely to you. Come into my life and take full control this day in Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, I believe God has come into your life and you're a new person. We'd like to also invite you to come fellowship with us here at Glory and Peace Church. Be blessed and be highly favored of the Lord. To receive a CD of today's program, send $10 to Mike Zeno Ministries, Post Office Box 3990, Winnipeg, Manitoba, R2W5H9. To order by Visa or MasterCard, call 204-582-6795. Request the program number on your screen. Thank you for watching Call to Victory with your hosts, Pastors Mike and Maria Afazino. This is a viewer-supported program. Thank you for your financial gifts. Call, write, or follow us online. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or watch us on our YouTube channel. This has been a Mike Zeno Ministries presentation.